Hi guys, good morning. In this video, we're going to see the problem to design R and search words data structure. So let's quickly see the problem. Then we will see, okay, how to do it. Although you will just see a quick surprise that how easy it is. Um, it is you said that we're going to design a data structure that that suppose adding new words and finding it in a string matches any previously added string. Cool. Uh, implement the word dictionary okay we have to implement the word dictionary and how it is it is that word dictionary initializes the object which means that okay now it is initialized we can now start adding the word we add the word let's say add word is the word which will add the words search words is the word which will search the words returns true if there exists any string in the data structure that matches word or return false if it does not and also words may contain dots and what it means is that wherever is this dot, then any character can match with that particular space. So if I have a r y a n, then if I write dot, dot r dot a n, so it should match. And also c r i a n. So anything in place of these dots, it can match. We only have to worry about the non dots thing. Cool. Let's quickly see the example. So firstly, we added BAD. We added BAD. Cool. We added DAD. We will see how it is being added and all that stuff. So it's just that, okay, we are just adding each by each letters. If you don't know, try, then I'll let you know about that. Firstly, you just have to go and watch this video. I've taken the exact same example everything like legit everything same example same thing same insert like legit everything is same so firstly quickly see it will be in the card above and also in the description down below in the first link itself but before that let's quickly have this example so we have bad which is inserted then we have dad which is inserted then we have mad which is inserted then we have pad which is inserted cool now we have inserted all of these in my try and now I have to search for BAD. I'll just go B found A found D found. I'm good. I'll search for dot AD dot, which means that any of these can come. Cool. Then next thing which should come is A. I'll just check A. Yeah, good. A. Yeah, good. A. Yeah, good. A. Yeah, good. Then I need to search for D. I'll just go D. Yeah, good. Okay. I can just return a true. But if it, it had not been, then I would have gone here. Good. I would have written true if it would not also have not been then I would have gone here and I had to, okay it's good if it also had not been then I would have gone here and I would said okay it's good so you can see that at every dot you are just seeing every of that characters if you have not understood that why we have made a try I will highly, highly, highly recommend just go and quickly watch this video implement try in which I have showed exactly the intuition of why we thought of try, how we implemented, how every step works. So just quickly go and watch this and your half of the video is just gone. Now, as we can see, okay, we will implement a try and at every word we will check, okay, if it is possible or not, which means that if I get a dot, then I have to check for every child whichever I have, I, I got a dot here. So I checked for B, I checked for D, I checked for M, I checked for P. So I have to check for every child because it can have any value because if I have a dot AD, it can be BAD, it can be MAD, it can be PAD, it can be BAD, it can be DAD. So basically in place of this dot, anything can come. So I have to check for every child in case of dot while in case of normal characters, we just check. Okay. If I had this B, a D. So I'll just see from my root node, wherever is the B, I'll just go on to it from B. I'll just see, okay, wherever is the A, I'll just go into it. But in case of dot from the root node, I will just go on to every child because I need to find, okay, every child can be possible. So the whole part, as you can see right here is just skipped because of this last video, which I showed you guys, everything, everything is skipped. Now let's see special example, which was a dot in this case. We had a dot dot L E, which means that I'll just land here a because only one a is there. So I have to land from root to a cool. Then I get a dot from a. I'll just go on to every possible ch child of a here in this example. 
A has only one child, which is P. Cool. I just mark it as a dot and I just go on to the next child. Here again, I have another dot. So I just have to go off every child of P. P has another child P and one child E. So I have to go to both the childs P and E because both can be possible. So at every dot, you have to check for every child. Cool. I just check here. I just check here. Next, after another dot is L. So after P, which means after one dot, I need to check L. I check L. That is there. I'll just go on. Here also, at one dot, I'll check. Okay, if L is there, but here it is not. It's null. So I can't check here. So I just stop here. But at every child, I need to check if there is the next required character or not. Here it is L. Cool. I'm good. Then I'll check for E. After L, it's E. Every child I have to check after L is E or not. Yeah, there is. So, and it is the last character and is complete is true. So I can just return a true out of it. Thus, thus we can just simply do a search. And it's pretty simple, as simple as that. The complexity, same as in the last video, everything remains same, insert, everything remains same. For space complexity, everything remains same. Just in case of this time complexity of search of particular word what will happen is that in now in our case what will happen is that if the string has length let's say n then it might happen that in the beginning itself it has some childs let's say 26 childs because at max a, a, a node can have 26 childs so it can go up to this 26 then it will just go on to all these n n n n n n n in worst case because it's on the first example in the example itself that it can go up to all n so it is what 26 into n but as we saw that how many dots can be possible three right so again it can be something like this here is a dot and again it has some 26 childs and then again it will go on to this whole thing which is again 26 and at max it can be three so we don't have to worry okay here also in another another level it can be at max 26 so I can just see that okay, it is n minus three because ultimately then if one node has 26, so it will be just n minus three. Okay, we can also take as n, no worries. n into 26 into 26 into 26, which is nothing but n into 26 whole cube. But, but, but it is also bounded by one thing. You saw one thing what? Let's see. In the above example, you already saw that it is bounded by what also? By the total number of letters in my whole try. Because at max, I'll just check for every node. Okay, 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 okay. I will just go on to every node, right? At max. So it is just also bounded by my O of n into 26 whole cube. It's also bounded by what? At max, it can go up to every node of the try. Not more than that, right? It can't go more than number of nodes of the try. So at max, it can go to every node of the try, which is actually nothing but O of S. Let's say it is O of S, which means every character in total in my try, in total in my try, right? And what is this O of S? It is nothing but my word length, which means that, okay, if I have number of like calls of words as let's say M and each word length is N, then I can have at max, 25 into 24, which is the upper bound. So ultimately, its complexity is nothing but maximum of this or this. Sorry, whichever is low. Because ultimately, it is bounded by O of n into m. So ultimately, it will be O of n into m. Because ultimately, it just represents, okay, worst case, it can go up to every child. But every child it itself represents the number of nodes or the number of characters in my try. So I can just ultimately say it's O of n into m and the limits of n into m are pretty small. And the space also is exactly the same. This code part is exactly the same as of the, uh, that of previous one. Same is this code part as explained in the earlier one. Same is the insert part exactly the same. Exactly. I just copy pasted the exact same thing. The search, it just is modified a little bit. The previous search looks something like this. Here, as you can see, I just added one function here. It is just this function. It is just that at every dot, I need to iterate on every node, which means at every dot I find 
for this node i just go on to every of its child which means i'm going on to every of its child and seeing okay if the remaining part let's say if i had this dot ad so add this dot i'll just go and check for every child let's say b was there d was there p was there m was there so i'll check okay is this possible is this ad is possible is this ad is possible is this ad is possible ad is possible that that is the remaining thing which is the substring of which is the substring of uh, i plus 1 thus i'll just check okay ad i'll just check for every node after seeing is the remaining part which is i plus 1 substring is it possible or not and if it is yes i'll return a true else i need to return a false it's not possible and the rest part remains exactly the same that if there, there is no dot we are good to go it's just a normal string search and we can just do a normal string search as we used to do so i hope that you guys understood that part of this problem that how we think of this dot part and how we just resolve it if yes then do the like button it has motivated a lot and yeah see you in the next video then goodbye take care